what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back yet again bring you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for pokemon scarlet and pokemon bio in today's video we're hopping back onto that ranked master tier but this time using a flame orb guts hariyama team that also features my boy kilowattrel you guys are no deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel take two seconds out of your day to click that big red subscribe button and join the jeans community but like i said we're using hariyama and kilowatch on today's video paired up with a bunch of meta pokemon to bring you guys a very strong master tier team Let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Kilowattro. I love this Pokemon from Gen 9. It's a Gen 9 regional bird, and it's super cool considering it is a flying and electric type. It's got wind power as its ability, alongside with the Focus Sash as its item. It's got Thunderbolt, Air Slash, Endeavor, and then Tailwind for complete speed control for this team. Second Pokemon is going to be our heavy hitter. It is going to be Hydreigon over here with Levitate and the Life Orb as its item. It's got Tailwind as well with Dark Pulse, Dragon Pulse, Flash Cannon, two stab moves, and basically a third stab move because Flash Cannon gets that stab boost due to uh, Hydreigon's Terror type, which is going to be Steel. Third Pokemon is going to be Hariyama, and this Pokemon is going to be super good for multiple different reasons. First reason, it's a great Fake Out user. It has Fake Out on it, I can flinch the Pokemon, help other Pokemon set up, and get after the battle that way. Second reason, it has Wide Guard, so it protects us from double hitting moves such as EQs from Garchomp, Eruptions from Torkoal, all that good stuff. And third and final reason it is super strong is because if we're going up against the Trick Room team, this guy's coming in here and he can just be an absolute menace in the Trick Room. Like I already mentioned, it has Guts and that Flame Orb as item and ability. Solid fighting type with fighting terror type. And moveset is going to consist of Fake Out, Close Combat, Wide Guard, and Knock Off. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Golden Go over here. Big meta Pokemon, really strong and an amazing typing of Steel and Ghost. As good as Gold as its ability. Rocking the Choice Specs as its item. And then it's got Make It Rain, Steel Beam, Shadow Ball, and Psychic for an amazing moveset. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our good physical attacker slash support Pokemon. Mousehole with Technician and the Y Lens. It can hit like a truck with the population bombs, and then on, on side of that, it has support moves such as Encore, Follow Me, and Protect. Final Pokemon is going to be Sylveon. I feel like Sylveon is just a great Pokemon on any single team. It's just a really good, solid fairy type Pokemon with great stats all around. It has Pixelate as its ability, Citrus Berry as its item, then it's got Hyper Voice, Quick Attack, Yawn, and Protect. Guys, if you want to write the team for yourself, the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Guts Hariyama team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Belly Drum Azumarill team with Amoongus, Grimmsnarl, Annihilate, Hydreigon, and me, Ascarvana. I feel like Kilowatt and Hariyama could be a great lead for us. We could fake out, we can get after the battle that way. I really do like it. Plus, if he leads to uh, Amoongus or Azumarill, we're going to be super effective both ways because we are flying and electric typing. So, I really do like that. I really do like that Pokemon. So, I'm going to lead them both. I am going to lead them both. Um, who should I bring in the back end? Hydreigon's not too bad. Sylveon's really not bad. So I definitely want Sylveon. Super effective up against three of their, four of their Pokemon, actually. Miascarada, Annihilate, Grimmsnarl, and Hydreigon. I love Sylveon here. So Sylveon's going to come out here, and then it's either Hydreigon or Golden Go. A bit more special attacking power, and I'm leaning a bit towards Hydreigon just because it's not Choice Spec. But Choice Spec Pokemon isn't bad, considering it's going to be able to do a crazy amount of damage. I'm trying to think of Pokemon that can one-shot my Hydreigon. His Hydreigon, Annihilate, if it's like Drain Punching. Uh, Miascarada, mm, nah, I don't really see it one tap in me. Azumarill can. I think I'm gonna go Golden Go for that instance. I'm gonna go Golden Go here. I like Golden Go. Golden Go can hit like a truck. Its typing is phenomenal. It resists a lot of different things. So let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But before we get started here with match number one, gotta give a huge shout out to everybody who has donated through my donation link. There is, it is down in the description below if you guys do want to donate. Obviously, donations are not mandatory, but they really go a long way. Just want to give a huge shout out. We just got a couple of donations as of recently, and I cannot thank you guys enough. Seriously, thank you guys so much for all the donations that have been going across the channel. But they're going to end up leading nice little Grimmsnarl and Annihilate. And from here, uh, I think it's just a free Tailwind, right? I think it's just a free Tailwind, and I could take off someone's item. I think I'm just going to go onto a knockoff right here. Do I want to do that? I might just knock off your light clay or something like that. Let's see what they're going to end up doing. He's going to end up taunting me. That's actually a really good taunt there. It's actually a lovely taunt. I should just went straight for an air slash. So, cannot tail win. I'm still fast on the field, which is really good. And this is just going to end up bulking up. I mean, air slash can still do a ridiculous amount of damage on that. So I really do like it. A really solid turn from him to just taunt me. I'm going to 
Just gonna pop this knock off. Maybe it's light clay. It is light clay. So we take that off. That's actually gonna help us out tremendously. So we get rid of the light clay. Um, hmm. And air slash has got to come out here from us, right? We have to pop an air slash. And I could actually swap you at this point. If he's gonna protect or something, I could swap straight into Sylveon, which I really like. I really like a good, good old Sylveon here. Oh, wait a minute. Who am I swapping? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We want to go into an air slash here. Yes. And then we just want to swap the Hariyama. I could have faked it out instead of going for a knockoff, which probably should have been my play. And I could have just set up Tailwind, but it's all good. It's all good. I'm going to swap to Hariyama. We're going to save it for later. I feel like back end usage for Hariyama is going to be good. We can fake out. We can hit like a truck later on. I'm digging it. So Sylveon's going to come out here. Kilowatchel still should be fast on the field. And he's going to end up Terrasalizing here, which is kind of scary. Probably straight Ghost, I would, I would feel like. Take its Fighting type off. We'll see. Now he's going to go straight Fire. I mean, uh, it's okay. Isn't too crazy. Helps him resist a lot of different typings. The Grimstar sets up that Reflect. That's totally fine. We have special attackers out on the field now. And I could yawn that next turn. But it really depends uh, what he's looking like. If he brings me down to Sash, I'm obviously going to go into a uh, Endeavor. Which I'm kind of hoping. I'm kind of hoping he sashes me up here. Go ahead, Sash my Kilowattle. Did we flinch him? I think we flinched him. So we still have Focus Sash out and about. So obviously, uh, he is going to set up. Obviously, he is going to set up. Light screen here. So I'm just going to double down the Grimstar because, again, I think we can just endeavor that Annihilate when we get the chance. Let's see. Thunderbolt's going to fly here. Can we get the power or something? Wow, screens are insane. Rage Fist is going to come into my Sylveon. Can you just hit my hit my Kilowatt roll already? Please, hit my Kilowatt roll already. Just do it. Just hit the Kilowatt roll already. Well, well, like, we, need, we need you to hit us now. Hyper Voice flying here. You want some nice damage on the Grim. I think Sylveon outspeeds Grim Snarl. I'm not too sure. But can you just like please like maybe just hit a hit a, hit up on us? He's gonna taunt me. He might even taunt me again. He might even taunt me again. I'm gonna go for another flinch. Might as well, right? I'm just going through another hyper voice. <laughs> it's your best bet. Maybe I should have tailwind. Okay, thank God I didn't. <laughs> so he's probably gonna take out my Sylveon. I, I've been waiting for him to hit my Kilowatt all day. He might get another flinch here. Oh no, we didn't flinch last turn, he just Rage Fist. Oh, we did we had to flinch that turn though. That's solid flinch. Now we're getting some work done. We're getting somewhere, considering it's uh reflect and light screen turns are going low, considering we took off the light clay and the minus is three turns, which is amazing. And we're just slowly doing some damage here. But I've been waiting for him to hit me so I can just endeavor. Like <laughs> I just been waiting for it. Just been waiting for it. We still have Hariyama in the back end, which is really good for us. Let's see who he ends up throwing out here. I do not know. I do not know. But it's so annoying when all I want to do is Endeavor. And he's not hitting my bird. Hit my bird. He's going to go into Moogus. Probably just Rage Pattern out would be what I think he would do. So I'm just going to do that. And you know, I'm going to yawn into Annihilate just in case. Just in case. He ends up never hitting my boy. Or maybe just protecting this turn. So he never hits Kilowatcher. I feel like this thing can survive a while. Especially with the Pokemon that we have in the back end. Who is it? Golden Go and Hariyama? Yeah, that's looking really scary. Because Rage, Rage Fist can really just hit it, hit through a lot of us. We're going to end up Air Slashing this thing. Doing a little bit of damage. We're waiting for these screens to get over with, man. And he's going to finally take out my Sylveon. So Sylveon's gone. It's getting real ugly. This is getting real ugly. It's <laughs> so absurdly ugly. <laughs> for no reason. Bro, Annihilate's way too strong. Um, I have you. And I have you. Um, I think we got... How, what's your speed, Golden Go? 149. I might outspeed Annihilate, because this thing is not choice. I don't want to Terrasalize. I really do not want to. I don't think Terrasalize is at all. I'm w I've been waiting to endeavor this thing. I really have been. I guess we'll double down. I'm going to go here. And I guess I'll switch to a psychic. It's my best bet. 
I'm gonna double down and annihilate. Do I Terra here? I feel like he can't lose me regardless, right? I am actually going to Terra here. I'm gonna hope that we can survive a shot. This is just terrible. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> I can't stand it. I cannot stand this Annihilate right now. Yo, Annihilate is just too strong in the meta. It really is. It's way too strong. It's absurdly too strong. If it KOs my Golden Go one shot, I'd be so upset. I doubt it's going for a fighting move. No way he's reading me like that. Rage Powder has come out here. That's fine. I'm cool with it. I'm going to be able to drop an Air Slash first. And like the screens are almost done. Golden Go, can you outspeed, please? Thank you. Okay, so Golden Go does outspeed, which is huge. We get rid of you. Screen should be like one or two more turns. I think they're like one more turn left. My taunt should be over as well. And he's going to end up going into Rage Fist. Is that into my bird? Finally into my bird? Into my bird! Finally! Finally! Into my bird. Now I can endeavor nothing. Unless this thing has a first turn priority move. Whatever his final Pokemon is. Please do not have a first time priority move. I beg of you. I beg of you. Sucker Punch. That hurts. Mm. That, that, that does indeed hurt. That, that does hurt. Choice in the second two. I'm going to double down into Annihilate, but I got to get rid of Annihilate. Please, just for the love of everything. Thank you. No Sucker Punch. Endeavor. We love it. We love it. Knockoff coming out here. He's going to switch to Straight Ghost. He's going to take me out. And, and uh, Golden Go outspeeds. Endeavor finally comes out here. I've been waiting all battle to do that. The whole battle to do that. And then finally, we get the chance to do it. And it works out exactly how we wanted it to. Woo! We were going to lose that battle. We were going to lose that battle. I was so surprised it took uh, took our opponent that long to, t to go after my... Uh, to go after my... Uh, what's it called? Go after my boy right there. But now we're sitting at another problem. And our other problem here... Is going to be this Meowskerada. Obviously, I could fake it out. Which I think I'm going to do just in case it's Sash. But Psychic has no effect. And we're choice into it. Really ugly. It's real ugly. The fake out's going to come out here. Just in case it's Sash. And I don't think you can kill my, my uh, Hariyama in one shot, right? Right? You cannot kill my Hariyama in one shot. I'm at two over 200 HP. 234. This thing KOs me. I don't think it can. Then it's GG's. But it would be a problem because Psychic has no effect on this Pokemon. He goes for a knockoff. <coughs> we eat that up all day. Beautiful. Close combat's going to come out here. It's GG. It has been a great game. What a f actual first battle. That was phenomenal all around that. Annihilate was this close to just like tearing through our whole team. But my Endeavor Kilowattro coming in clutch with it. Helping us out there. Letting us get that first battle victory. Second battle coming at you guys. First battle went pretty well for us. Dominated with that Kilowattro and the Hariyama. But we're facing up against a Gengar and King Gambit team. With Toxtricity, Annihilate, Mousehold, and Golden Ghost. So a few ghost type Pokemon in here. I wish I had like Sucker Punch rolling, but Hariyama's gonna do just fine with knockoffs and all that good stuff. Um, who else should I lead with this? I do not want to bring Mousehold here. I feel like Mousehold just doesn't get a lot of value. Could also lead to Sylveon. Sylveon's not too shabby here. Do I want to go Sylveon and Hariyama? Fake out, I can yawn into some Pokemon. We kind of get after it that way. He does have poison on the Gengar, which is kind of scary. What's your Terra type? Terra type is going to be straight fairy that sucks man i don't want it to be straight fairy i do not want it to be straight fairy that kind of hurts we might have to take speed then we might have to take speed with uh with kilowattro so that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna bring kilowattro we're gonna go hariyama i am terrified of that annihilate <laughs> like annihilate is just a problem but we can definitely endeavor it again we can definitely endeavor it again later so i'm just gonna go sylveon i am going to go hariyama or not hariyama hadrian as our final pokemon and we're gonna lock it down for today's battle that would, that's just awful. If he's, this thing goes to another Annihilate, it's just going to be a problem for us. It's just going to be a problem. Because it took us so long to get that Endeavor. We were waiting for it. We are like, okay, hit our Kilowattro. We're waiting. We're waiting. Took him like nine turns to hit our Kilowattro. Finally, he he hit it. We Endeavored, and we took the battle. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. But he ends up leading. I don't like this game. Not one bit. Um, I don't think we set up a Talon. 
Actually, we could. I mean, fake out clean here. We can fake out cleanly here if we want to. And we can set up a free talent if we want to. I don't think it's just straight air slashing in this Pokemon. Zack on window. I'm gonna fake out. I'm just gonna just get straight after seeing with an air slash. Get some nice damage. Give me a flinch. Show me a little flinch action. Woo! Wait, that might be mouse hold. It was mouse hold. Kinda hurts. Uh, okay, that's fine. My guts are just gonna trigger here. You're gonna hit me up a little bit. That isn't bad. I mean, I could Tailwind here if I want to. Which I think I am going to do. I think I am going to Tailwind. And the reason I am going to Tailwind is because I want to A, set up speed for a team, and B, I want to close combat into this mouse hold. Because I want to get rid of the mouse hold, and if I get rid of the mouse hold and, and Annihilate goes after my Kilowatt, or we could just endeavor it again. But I'm with it. I'm with this turn. So I set up the Tailwind this turn. Close combat. We're looking for you to come out here. Wind power is here. You're powered up. He's gonna go for the beat up. But he's gonna go after his real question. I don't think Hariyama outspeeds, which kinda sucks. So I'm hope hopefully he goes after Kilowattrel. Oh, Hariyama does outspeed. That my plan worked perfectly. That worked perfectly. So we get rid of the redirection Pokemon. You can take out whoever you want at this point. If he takes out Hariyama, that's fine. I don't mind it too much. If you go after Kilowattrel, that's big for us. We'll see what he wants to do. Takes out my Hariyama. So Hariyama drops out. Um, I think he goes after Kilowatt this turn in, in the Rage Fist. I could bring out Hydreon. Again, we have speed all day. Speed is a huge factor for us. I think he might Terra here as well. Hmm. Who do I want? I think, I think I'd rather save my Hydreon. We're back in. I'm going to go into Sylveon here. Sylveon is just our play. You can throw our next Pokemon. It's probably gonna be Golden Go. Cool, it's Gengar. So Gengar comes out here. Uh, bu 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 bum. I have again. I have speed all day. I have speed all day. So Hyper Voice is obviously your call here. Probably take off the Focus Ash onto that uh, Gengar, and I'm just gonna straight up Thunderbolt. Actually, we can't endeavor this thing until it. Uh, um, oh no, we need to Terrestrialize. That's a problem. That's a huge problem. I could double down into it, but I feel like Gengar's gotta go. Cool, cool. Good thing I double down to Gengar. So I'm gonna end up thunderbolting here. How much damage are we doing here? Some big time damage. Bring it down to Focus Sash. I figured to have Focus Sash. Most Gengars run the Sash. And Hyper Voice is just gonna fly out here. I can't I can't bolt anymore. That hurts soul. That hurts soul. Hyper Voice is still gonna fly. We're gonna get rid of the Gengar. And we're thriving pretty well here. We're thriving pretty well. Can't hyper voice either. No, we're not thriving well. I hate I hate Curse Body. Do me so wrong. Uh, from here, I guess I, I have to yawn in that Pokemon, right? I think yawning into him could be good for us. I'm gonna throw a yawn. I'm just gonna start yawning around here. We can see their final Pokemon, which hopefully it's something my, my boy can kind of get after. It's gonna be Golden Go. So Golden Go is gonna come out here. I think I have to throw a yawn into you now. Yawn you, and if he Terrasilize, we can eventually endeavor it. Yeah, I'm just gonna yawn. I'm just gonna Air Slash and double down this Pokemon. But we'll see, cause we, yeah, I was gonna say we're gonna. We knew he was. They were terrestrializing. Yeah. Probably the golden go, straight steel. Something we can endeavor. Normal, cool. We can endeavor that. Anything but ghost. That's all we wanted. That's, that's fine. We can endeavor that. I'm with it. So air slash is gonna fly here. Wow, we could we could have just KO'd with a quick attack or something. Yon's gonna come out here, and vital spirit. Wow, He's gonna vital spirit me. Nigger man's gonna come out here. And we're able to eat. You might double down to my Kilowatch while you're... You might double down to my Kilowatch, but your special attack is low, which is good. Sylveon should be thriving here. Get a little bit of boost from that. And he's going to go for Rage Fist. Wow, he doubles down to my Killa. So my Endeavor plan is gone. It's out of the picture. Endeavor's gone, but their special attack is low. He's probably choice to make it rain. I can ended up not killing my Sylveon because Sylveon outbulked it. And then from here, what do we do? I could yawn. I could yawn into the, uh, could yawn into the golden gun, but I feel like he has to protect, right? Like he has to protect. I'm going to quick attack that anyway. And I could Terrasilize here, straight steel type and start dropping dragon pulses, right? Dragon pulse would do the most, most damage for us. That's what I'm going to do. 
That is exactly what I'm gonna do. Quick attack might be able to KO as as well. I'm gonna finally use my thrasilization. Solid second battle so far. Win or lose this battle. This is a great battle all around. And I feel like he's gotta be choice in the make it rain, right? I feel like he has to be choice in that one. Let's make it happen, Jeans. He does end up protecting. We kinda saw that coming all day. But I, but I had to throw attack in, into that slot just in case. Because another make it rain might not KO us. He's minus two. He's minus two. Dragon Pulse gonna fly out here. Get off half damage. That's solid. And here comes the make it rain, right? Correct. Yeah. Can you eat this up, Sylveon? You do not. Okay. Oh. Uh, mm. I still th I still think we're fine. We just had to go after the Annihilate this turn. Get rid of him because we do outspeed that Pokemon. And then I don't think I don't think Golden Go can take us out, right? Golden Go is not that that strong right now. It's like minus four, isn't it? My Tailwind is gone, but I still outspeed it. I still outspeed it. Oh, it only minuses by one. It's a little whack, but again, that's totally fine. Totally fine. We can go into any move we want. Dragon Pulse is probably our best bet. And we're going to go right after Snilep slot. Oh, he protects the gold to go. You silly dog. You're silly. You silly. Get out of here. Get out of here. Taking out you just makes our match even more solidified. GG's to our opponent. GG's to our opponent. See, we thought that one through. We're like, we have to attack the Annihilate. We have to attack the Annihilate. But solid terror typing for us as well. We had Terror Steel, which worked out perfectly. Most Hydrogons are either Steel or Fire, which would have worked out perfectly in the situation regardless. But we end up Dragon Pulse here, finishing off the Golden Go, and starting off 2-0 for today's video. Third and final match coming at you guys. We have ourselves a tough one here. We're going up against a Don Dozo team, and this team right here really does not have any way to counter Don Dozo besides the Endeavor on the Kilowattle. So I'm going to have to bring Kilowattle in the back end if I want a shot at win this match. So who should I lead in this instance? Maybe Hariyama's not bad. Mousel wouldn't be bad too. Maybe we get off some pop bombs, kind of get after the battle that way. I'm kind of all about it. I am kind of all about it. So I'm going to go you. I am going to go Hydreigon just because of Intimidate and it's a pain. And I could always Terrasalize if you need Sylveon and just take it out with Flash Cannon. And then kill Watcher in the back end. And then final Pokemon, either Golden Go or Sylveon. Where do I want to go here? Probably Golden Go. I feel like Golden Go we get the most value out of. So yeah, we're going to go Golden Go here. And again, we have, if we want to shot at this, we, there's two options. We either have to get off the Endeavor on the Don Dozo, or we just have to hope that he does not bring Don Dozo. They are our two options. If not, if both those go wrong, we lose the battle. We lose We lose the battle. It's over with. <laughs> it is over with because we are not taking out Don Dozo with any of these Pokemon. So our opponent's going to end up leading Sylveon and Golden Go. Okay. So Sylveon and Golden Go does come out here. Uh, I think I have to Terror, right? I think I have to Terror. I could protect this thing too. This is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to protect you and I'm just going to Terrasalize and go straight into a flash cannon because that's the thing i see golden go more so terrestrializing than sylveon here just to dodge dark pulses the sylveon's probably sitting here already like oh i'm fairy type i have advantage on you whereas golden goes like okay i cannot take a dark shot i might as well switch my typing that, that's how i see it hopefully i read it right hopefully we, we make a good call here and then i'm just protecting the mouse hole just for Future references, like say we KO the uh, Sylveon, we can just pop on that slot later. Because right now we can't do anything up against that Golden Go. Besides, maybe just follow me a shot, but chances are the Rock can make it rain and they're just gonna double down and hit with hit us with a double hitting move. Same thing with Sylveon, probably a hyper voice. So follow me really won't do anything. We're gonna end up Terrasalize and hopefully we make the right call here. Hopefully Sylveon just stays fine. And they're both gonna stay. They are both gonna stay. We're gonna protect the mouse hold and make it rain's gonna fly. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because that's gonna drop a special attack, not do a lot of damage to my Hydreigon. Hyper Voice is probably gonna fly here. And this thing has a Babiri Berry. You can't even see it behind this this gigantic monster of a pseudo legendary. <laughs> and Flash Gun's gonna fly here and do a nice chunk of damage. So one more should be able to take it out. We know we have speed on that, which is huge. And we'll just go from there. Let's go from there. But this isn't going to do too, too much damage to us. Might pop a uh, Earth Spray, but that's about it. So he could actually swap here. He could He could swap that Sylveon, knowing that we outspeed it. You know what? I'm just going to pop bomb that slot. I'm just going to Dark Pulse over onto the, the Golden Ghost slot now. It's my play all day. It's my play all day. Because he's, he's got to protect our swap, right? 
it makes the most sense at, at this point in the match. We're just hoping we can eat up another Make It Rain from Golden Go. Just for a quick attack. Hey, yo, leave my mouse hold alone. Leave my mouse hold alone. Make It Rain coming in here. You guys both eat. That's beautiful. This is solid. This is a solid, solid first turn from us. Great first turn. Pop Bomb coming out here. Should say bye bye to Sylveon. This is way too OP. <laughs> just ripping up to 10 times. We need two more, don't we? One more. Later. Later, Sylveon. Yo, Pop Bomb too good. Pop Bomb way too good. That's actually really big. We get rid of the Sylveon here. Should be able to get rid of the Golden Go as well. All right, see you later. Cool. Dumped on that. And we have two Pokemon alive. I can follow me a shot. And try to get Hydreigon to get at least one more move off. And if I had to guess, it's Dondozo, right? Might be Dondozo. It might just be Dondozo. Let's see. It's not. It's not Dondozo. <laughs> it's not. It's these two. It's these two little boogers. Intimidate's gonna fly. Um, we have to bomb me the shot, right? I'm trying to think. What Pokemon do we have in the back end? We have Golden Go. Do not like that. Do not like Golden Go. Up against Arcanine. We might as well do more damage to Arcanine at this point. Gonna follow me, and I'm just gonna go for a Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse does the most damage. I'm gonna go right after Sarkanine. Wow, no Don Dozo. I was so, I was so like, I was so ready to face a Don Dozo. <laughs> I was so ready for it, and he just didn't bring it. But he outspeeds me with E Speed. He's gonna sucker punch me. He's gonna pick up the easy double kill. Alright, this match is actually coming down to wire because they still have Terrasalization. I could set up a free tail, which wouldn't be bad. Uh, we know E-Speed's a factor. That, that is going to be a problem. And I think he's just going to Terrasalize Arcanine, right? I think Arcanine's got to be that Terror type. Uh, what do I choice into, though? I have a bunch of different moves I can choice into. Shadow Ball might be your best bet. Because I can tail in here and get off some mean damage. This one's going to be really close. Go for Steel Beam. I might just want to go for Psychic. I don't know. I'm going to try to get rid of the Miascarada here. But I Steel Beam? I might as well Steel Beam and just finish this thing off, correct? I already outspeed the, uh... I already outspeed the Arcanine. So I might just try to get off some damage here with Tailwind. I mean, I could Tailwind and just get rid of the... That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell him just get rid, rid of the Miascarada. I'm choosing to steal beam. <laughs> I have to. It's going to Terrasalize. This has got to be Arcanine, correct? This has got to be Arcanine. So Arcanine's probably going normal typing. And this is not... Actually, yeah. We I think we lost this one. 10,000%. Because just E speed. Kill the watch will have Sash, but... We need to endeavor at that turn and exactly. We had to read it. That was the only way of winning. The sandwich's gonna fly. Steel Beam's probably going to take out Miascarada, unless it's sucker punching. Which it, it isn't because we, we are tailwind. Steel Beam's gonna fly. We are going to take this thing out. I mean, yo, we can still steel beam into into Arcanine. Hold up. There's a chance. There's there's just there's still a chance. Obviously, I have to just steel beam into you now. And uh, Endeavor would do the most damage, so we're just gonna do that. Let's see what he goes for. E speed into Kilowattle's dead. Steel beam, can you KO Golden Go? Can you do this? Can you do this? This might be able to KO. Golden Go hits hard. Hint to Rasslaz, it might have been the death one. Steel beam coming in hot. Golden Go for the, for the perfect record. Do I lose? Do I lose? I think I lose because I fainted first. Don't tell me I lost that. Don't tell me I lost that. We got to see. We got to see. I count that as a win in my book, but I did lose. It counts as a loss. That's wild. 2-1 for today's video. We need to make a petition right now, ladies and gentlemen. Petition for Steel Beam KOs on a 1v1 gives you the win. There's no way I should have lost that battle. I played that one solid at the end there. We Steel Beamed it. We picked the KO first. His Arcanine lost its HP first. So technically, it died first. And technically, I should have won. But I guess it's... 
that is just the way the cookie crumbles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.